Mastermind World and Doc Martens. These are the 101s that they did uh, a couple years ago, and then these are the 1460s that they did as the December 60th anniversary collaboration. Uh, it ended up being that a big amount of them were actually from Japan, so this is another one from Japan. But these were all limited to 1,460 made. So if you got your hands on any one of them, bravo, that's amazing. Out of the 11 million shoes that Doc Martens makes a year, that's a very small amount of them. It was, I think, a huge hit. Everybody was like, whoa, those are really cool. And then for us that knew, remembering these 101s, we were like, uh, it's really similar. Like, they just made it taller. So instead of doing the usual discussion on these uh, separately, I wanted to do more of a compare just to show you what is actually different between them. And you can join me and geek out with me. So as I said, the first thing is these are a 101 and these are a 1460. The last and the fit on this, on these, are actually the vintage last versus these being the comfort last. So these have slightly less room in the toe box, but they're still the same size. The leather thickness on them, I would say that there really isn't much of a way to tell the difference by feel. I'm sure if you measured, you'd be able to know for sure, but in regards to what I feel and my experience, these are both standard smooth leather. But the main difference there is that these were made in England where these were made in Asia. Uh, other main similarities is they both have the zipper. And in my experience with a 1460, and this long of a tassel, sometimes I end up feeling it, depending on how I walk, kind of hit the side of the shoe. So I don't feel it on these 101s at all when I walk from them, but I think I've worn my Bapes, were, which were, oh, was that January 2020? I think it was the first remastered, and they were the ones with the, with the camo on them and I feel it on the side. So that's just something to point out personally. As far as the pull tabs, this one is, uh, you know, they're, they're, the, these shoes are pretty new. They haven't been worn that much. So this, it's kind of more fabric-y where this feels more synthetic, more nylon, like kind of what you would get with, uh, with a backpack. Like if you got just like most, like, most backpack, like, um, trying to think of what is the, the 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 type of canvas and nylon that they use it's like ballistic nylon or something like that but this is how how it is so the this more droops where this stands more erect and I, I i like them both i know that i have some vintage that are from the late 70s and 80s and they're really floppy you know it's almost like they're made out of a t-shirt and I don't know if that's because they're old or that's how it was before, but that's the case. And I like it to stand up prominently like this. Uh, it gives the silhouette, this finishing piece that I dig. So other difference, as you see, they both have the skull and crossbone on them, but this has the standard Mastermind World front facing skull and crossbone, where this one's more of the perspective view. Now, on the backs of them, the 101s that they did uh, that, were, that were the end exclusive, I believe that they were only available as a drawing. I entered that drawing and I didn't get them at the time, but I believe they were just exclusive. I don't even think they even made it to the Doc Martin site. I think they just send them, uh, uh, sold them on endclothing.com, which is a really good resource for Doc Martens, especially ones that are... Uh, a little bit more rare and exclusive or ones that we end up just seeing 
in England. So nclothing.com. The Mastermind World logo that we have on the sides of these. Now what's really cool about the one-on-ones that I really dig is that the skull and crossbone is just boom. It just takes over. And I thought that that was such a great, bold choice. And it really, it really justified the design of the 101 with the size, where with the 1416, it doesn't. And it doesn't even go over the stitching. It's just on the side right here, uh, which, which gives it a different look. But then again, you know, I mean, when you're looking at these and you're describing them, it's like, I have black boots with skull and crossbones on the side. Which ones are you talking about? It's pretty much the same thing, right? So let's get to another really big differentiator, which is the Sinclair zip. So it wasn't enough to put the zip on the side. We're going to go ahead and do the zip on the front, which ends up giving you this huge mouth. So we have this huge mouth to put your foot in. Uh, it's really easy and uh, it's a really interesting choice. I think uh, I've seen this done before, maybe with Jaden's in the past and it's cool, you know, and I, and I like that the tassel on one side, it has Doc Martens, the other side has Mastermind World, whereas the one-on-one, it says Mastermind World on both sides. That was another point as far as the tassel. But you can go ahead and take out this, you can take this out and just lace them up normally as you would as as you would do with with uh, with this and and the default of these is this black flats that come with uh, this gunmetal tips where on the one on ones it's black flats that come with uh, more of a steel tip versus the gunmetal little bits of hardware on the one on one we have two on in the start in the first two eyelets it says end on the right shoe and it says um no it has the skull and crossbones on the left shoe so i don't know i don't remember if that's how it came or if i just tried different laces because the shoes or the boots the one-on-ones come with multiple pairs of laces but i'm going to go ahead and round out this 1460 before we dive into all the little extras that this one-on-one comes with they both have skull and crossbone inside the sole, uh, and they are the front-facing ones on both of them. The sole density, even though one is made in England, the other one's made in Asia, it's it's the same sole. I guess the difference would be uh, with the uh, just the specifics on how how, uh, how it fits with the vintage last versus the comfort last, and that's pretty much it. Uh, aside from that, it's it's the same sole, same density. Uh, and uh, as, you know, as a matter of fact, I would almost bet that the main in Asia one feels a little bit denser for some weird reason, even though even the uh, the transparency on them is the same and everything. So I, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I would side with the same. Maybe my my hand here is a little bit more sensitive today. So that would be the 1460 60th anniversary remastered with Mastermind World Doc Martens. And reintroducing the 101 Mastermind and collaboration exclusives with all the fun stuff it came with. I was at the factory. Uh, in England where they do the made in England's I think it was it was it, it was right after these came out I think these came out in spring of 2019 and I was there summer of 2019 and I remember I, uh, I was talking to Susan I believe which is one of the inspectors there I think they, Susan and Rose were the main ones at the time and then they I think they have somebody else now as well and she was telling me how, what a pain it was. <laughs> Just making sure, because all the laces it came with and all the little extra things, you know, again, 
specifically, you know, we have, uh, I didn't get to show it before, but we have the, the skull and crossbone on one and then we have N on the other and making sure it's on the right shoe and displayed in the right way and having the flat laces, which makes it even more complicated because you have to make sure that they're both, they're all laying the same way as you go ahead and put them together and it marks off all these different checkpoints in regards to the inspection that she was just like, ah, it was a lot. So to, 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 to show you, we had black, round, steel tip laces that came with it. We had yellow steel tip, round, that came with it. And let me see here. This is often something that, you know, and I'm, I'm just quite, I'm very particular, but it's something that I see that I don't care for. I think this one's pretty close. So sometimes the welt stitching is yellow and sometimes it's actually gold. It's not yellow. So um, for me, total personal thing, you do whatever you want to do with your laces. But this was uh, an awareness thing when I came, you know, just popped in. I'm like, whoa, you know, this is not yellow. It's gold. So. I try to match if I do put yellow on my docks, I make sure that the welt stitching is yellow and not gold. And I find gold laces to match the gold. Again, me being super particular, you do you with your laces, you know, they're your laces, right? So uh, these are closer to yellow, so it does come with the yellow laces. Whereas, which ones? I think it was, yeah, the Bapes collaboration as well as the Beavis and Butthead ones came with gold laces because it had gold welt stitching. Last but not least, these are the most unique out of them, uh, which are the world, uh, the Mastermind World End specifically, metal tip flat branded laces. So that's the last ones that come with. So it comes with four different laces. I like the black, black flats, but, um, I feel that since I have the 1460s and the 1460s only come with black flat, I may end up putting on, I don't know, I may end up putting on the yellows on it. I don't know. Let's see how, I got to look and see how many pairs of black and yellow Doc Martens I have. But uh, as most of you watching these videos, uh, Cherry's playing guard dog. Uh, as most of you watching these videos, <clears throat> you know, uh, can relate. It's fun to mix and match, try different laces. So the last thing is the tote. Uh, when we get made in England's, most of the time they come with this drawstring bag to kind of keep them. And it's almost like this dust jacket thing uh, f for them. And, and it's, uh, it's a fun little extra that, that they come with. But in this case, and I've seen it done with other collaborations, we get a tote bag. So it has a Doc Martens logo on it, made in England for Mastermind World, specifically, and thanks for joining. Say bye. If you liked the video you just saw or wanted to add something to it, go ahead and uh, click on the like and the comment button uh, down below. Also, if you want to keep up with all the videos that I create, subscribe, and then once you subscribe, you can tap on the bell and then you'll receive an email. Uh, so you're always kind of in the know. I mean, you watched it, right? So I guess you liked it. You gotta tell the, you know, algorithms what to show other people and what people are interested in. And besides that, I need validation. I need to know that I'm making something that people actually enjoy and want me to continue making more of, right? What do you think, Cherry? Yeah? Think they should do it? Yeah, she thinks so.